Here's Barbera da Alba 2012 from Pertinace. Pertinace is a winery in Piedmont region. And it's actually a cooperative that was formed by a um, group of farmers. So um, these were grape growers in the region who were growing um, good quality fruit and selling it to the wineries. And so they decided to pull together their resources and create their own winery uh, back in 1972, I think. So it's, it's been around for a long time. They've really uh, um, they've worked at it for some time. They've really got all the bugs worked out. They've they put together a nice program, and they they make some really good wines. Um, you know, w one of the advantages of a, a winery like this is that you have these 12, 15 growers um, who own some 150 plus acres. And so you can source grapes from a lot of different vineyards uh, and you can really focus on trying to bring the best quality. You know, if you are uh, growing grapes and you're selling them to somebody and you're making your own wine, which grapes are you gonna keep? <laughs> to make your own wine. <laughs> the really good ones, right? <laughs> so, anyway, for this wine, they're sourcing grapes from some of their older vineyards, some old vines grapes, so the grapes have nice concentration, good intensity of flavor, a little complexity. Um, and, you know, it's Barbera, so you want to really, you want to see that fruit, you want to taste it, you want to smell it. It's one of these wines that really just grabs you by its, by its uh, aromas and its uh, nice fruit flavors and its zesty acidity. They age it in large Slavonian oak casks for six months. That kind of rounds the wine out a little bit, gives it just another little dose of complexity. So. Mm. Yeah. And you get those nice sort of black plum notes on here, along with sort of a zesty, sort of cedary note, like a cigar box. Plums, chocolate. Hmm. Let's try it. So, this is pretty intense for Barbera. Um, it's got a richness to it. It's got a nice core. It's got some chewy tannins. <clears throat> you get a lot of that sort of zestiness up front, and then some of those plums come out on the middle, and the finish is very dry. Um, this is a wine that actually you could see some nice development on it in uh, a year or two in the bottle. Um, but it shows some nice layers really good food wine. You can see matching this up with, um, I don't know, all kinds of, you know, very flavorful Italian dishes, right? Happy drinking. <laughs>